boys and girls, Mrs. Blackburn here. I'm very excited today because this is our very first mini lesson and we are going to discuss empathy. Let's take a look at our learning goals. When you make it back into the classroom, this is how it will be posted on the board. Language arts, learning goals. I am learning to show empathy toward others. And our success criteria says, I will be able to discuss in the discussion boards on Schoology how someone's words or actions make another person feel. So remember to respond to two other students' posts and to be positive. Now, remember we discussed this in our virtual norms, that that does not mean that you have to agree with everyone. Um, you can politely disagree with someone by saying, um, thank you for your post, however, I feel this way, or um, I have another viewpoint. Um, we just need to not be um, negative or mean, uh, write in all caps, which is like shouting, those kinds of things, okay? So um, this is for a grade when you do discussion. So let's leave emojis off of there. Let's leave um, other content that's not related to the discussion, all right? Okay, so do you remember when we read the book 30 Minutes Over Oregon? Okay, I read that book to you. Well, there's a few places in that book where the author showed empathy. So let's look at those. The first one I want to look at, I'm gonna reread this part. I'll show you the picture first to kind of jog your memory. This is when Nubo, Nubuo, standing there with a sword, Okay, so that should jog your memory a little bit, and I'll go ahead and read that. Net, yet Nuboa was nervous. Initially, he had feared that Americans were tricking him into coming so they, would, so they could put him on trial as a war criminal. He worried that they would insult him, egg him, beat him, but he knew he had to go no matter what. It would be impolite to refuse, he said. Again, he brought his family sword. This time, however, it was not for luck. Over the years, Nabuo's war pride had shriveled into guilt. His brother had been lost in battle. His country had suffered catastrophically when the United States dropped atomic bombs on the cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And though his bombings hadn't hurt anyone, that had been the intention. If the people of Brookings accepted the apology he planned, he would gift the sword to the town. If they did not, he would use the word to commit seppuku, traditional Japanese suicide by a sword overcome with shame. Okay, so right here, trying to understand how others feel is called empathy. Thinking how your words and actions make others feel is one part of empathy. So you need to try and think about how the character felt in this book. And not only that, but the character is thinking how his actions made others feel the people of Brookings felt. And he's showing empathy towards those people. Okay, so that's an example there. Now, let's look at another example from My Man Blue. This is the other book that we're going to look at from our anchor chart. My Man Blue. Okay. So I'm going to select two poems to read. The first one is called Second Son. Remember this one? Okay, let's see if we can find examples of empathy in here. Okay. 
This one is, we're learning on the stoop, we're leaning on the stoop, excuse me, see counting wedges of blue sky sandwiched in between the roofs and white clouds drifting by. Why do you want my friendship, Blue? I blurred out there and then. I had a son named Zeke, Blue said. These streets became his friend. He needed me, but by the time I came, it was too late. He'd passed the point of trusting his old man to steer him straight. Your missing daddy also left. A hole in you, says Blue. If friendship fills it, there's less chance. The streets will eat at you. That's cool, I say, all serious, but I can't take Zeke's place. I know, says Blue, but your laugh sure helps conjure up his face. So who do you think is showing empathy there? Who do you think is showing empathy there? Perhaps Blue is showing empathy toward Damon. Maybe Damon showing empathy toward Blue for the loss of a son. Maybe Blue is showing empathy towards Damon because his father's gone. Remember, empathy is trying to understand how others feel and thinking about how your words and actions make others feel. Not just your actions, but also your words. Not just your words, but also your actions. Okay, so there's one more poem I want you to hear and think about empathy from this book. It's called Fearless. Here's the illustration. One weekend, Blue and me, we storm the park. I kill time kicking rocks along the path. While Blue scouts out a tall and sturdy tree and urges me to loop my fear like twine around a branch and use the rope to climb. Fear's useless otherwise, Blue says to me. You know I'll be right here in case you fall. Believing that is all it takes to send me scrambling towards the clouds, the sun, the sky. Hey, climbing's not no big deal. Next time, I'll fly. Okay, so let's take a look over here at our anchor chart. And if we look up here, we have, think about how your words and actions make others feel. We have the book title, what someone said or did, and how that made others feel. So we're going to start with 30 Minutes Over Oregon. I had a couple students tell me they really enjoyed that book. So what someone said or did. So Nabuo was welcomed by the people of Oregon. That was definitely a sign of empathy. The people of Oregon could have been very hateful and said, this man tried to bomb us. Instead, they tried to think about how he must have felt. So how did that make Nabuo felt feel? If you were thinking, Nabuo must felt relieved and respected when he got there. Remember, he was afraid that they were going to egg him, beat him, put him on trial. But instead, he felt relieved and respected. Okay? So that's how their actions affected him. All right? Now, we have... My man blue. I can get that back up there. Okay. And what someone 
said or did. So we go down here, we see Blue complimented Damon and said he wanted to be friends. Okay, so that was what Blue's actions were. And because of those actions, that made Damon feel important and valued. Sometimes we don't think about how our words and our actions can really make an impact on someone's life. But it sure did, didn't it? Okay, and then here, Blue helped Damon climb a tree. Just by helping him climb a tree, Damon believed in himself. That part at the end of the poem where he says, he believes he can fly. I love that part. All right, so it's your turn now. In the discussion board, I'm going to post the questions. And your job is to answer the discussion questions. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but sometimes I allow you to be able to see what other people posted before you put your answer in, and sometimes you can't. Sometimes you have to just think yourself and then post it, and then you can see what other people wrote. Because sometimes I want you to think for yourself. Okay, if you have questions about that, or questions about any assignment, you know, you can always message me. I apologize that I've been getting, um, responding to your messages a little late. It's because I've been getting so many of them lately. Um, I'm sure that will slow down. So good luck. And um, remember, empathy is trying to understand how others feel and how actions, your actions and your words affect others. Okay, good luck with the assignments. I'll see you later.